Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today is going to be the first section of my haul and I actually have some kits to show you as well, but I wanted to get these out of the way because they are a little bit bigger than the pile of kits that I have to go through. So I wanted to do these first and these are, I have such pretty things here, such fun things. Let's start with these roses. So um, Rose Forever, this company in New York, they reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and they asked me if I would like to try their Forever Roses. And I had heard of these before and I'd wanted some, like, but they're just kind of pricey. And when they reached out to me, I was like, yes, I definitely want to try those and show them on my channel and on Instagram and things. So this company has been around since 2019 and they make these bouquets that last a really long time. They can last for over a year and they use, my first question was like, how do you keep them preserved? And so they told me this, um, really, really nice person that I've been emailing back and forth with. Um, they told me that the flowers are, they're handpicked so that they're like the best buds. And then they treat them with, um, natural oils which I was like, how does this, it's magic. I don't even know how, how they do this, but this is the one that I chose. I thought this was just so beautiful and it would look really pretty in my bedroom because I have like black and white in my bedroom. She gave me a lot of choices. So this is the smallest box. This is the nine um, roses box, but it also comes in like a medium size of 16 and also 36. So if you want like a bigger one. They smell so good. They got delivered to my house and then my whole living room and kitchen smelled like roses through the box before I could open them because they were delivered when I wasn't at home. And they smell so good. Now my office smells like roses and it's just is so pretty. I'm really impressed with the quality of these. They're just so beautiful. You can also get them in a round box if you want that or I just like this, the classic square, so that's what I chose. And it is velvet, which I've gotten some lint on it, but it's easy to just kind of tap that off. And um, they have so many different colors too, it's crazy. So I'm gonna link their website down below, and I'm also going to have a coupon code for you guys that you can use in the shop. Um, it is Tattoo Teacher Plans 15, so you can get $15 off of the bouquets for. 30 days. And that's just such a cool deal. I will have a link, like I said, to the shop down below so you can peruse the website because there are so many options, so many colors. They have like purple ones that are so beautiful, but these are just so, so beautiful. And I was just really, really impressed with these. It's a very light box because it really just has the roses in the top and it's like magic. I really don't know how they preserve these. It's amazing. But anyway, all the info is down below if you want to go and check that out. Um, I'm just really loving these beautiful roses and I can't wait for them to last the whole year in my bedroom. So that was Rose Forever. So beautiful. Okay, now let's move on to some planner supplies and other things. So let's start with this planner, which was also sent to me. And I was really curious about this one because, you know, I'm really making an emphasis on wellness this year. And so Life and Apples reached out to me and they asked if they could send me their wellness planner. So I have that to show you. These are super affordable and I'm just impressed with what they put together here. This is focused just on wellness and it is a six month planner and you can keep track of everything you want in here. So let's look at the inside of this little planner. You can get this on Amazon and I'm gonna leave the link to the Amazon link down below. Um, the last time that I looked, this planner was less than $20, which I think is just an amazing um, price. And I'm just, I'm really intrigued by this because if I need to go intense with my wellness, which I'm thinking I might need to, trying to reset after everything that 2021 has brought me, um, I think this is a good option. So the front has just some information about getting your mindset right. And then it has some things about um, just like universal wellness, how to use the planner. 
and then it starts in with some goals. So you can set all types of goals and you create some action steps and, and create timelines. And then it goes into the planner itself. So it's really just kind of giving you some basic info up front and then just jumping right into it. So each month is up here at the front. So you get six months of monthly spreads and it's undated. So you can start it whenever you want. You can write your month name up here, your focus, goals, affirmations, must do this month, successes and wins. So you get six of those and then What's really interesting about this planner is um, that it has daily pages so and a little weekly review so you can reflect on your goals as well. So here is what the daily spreads look like. So you have the day and date up here. I'm grateful for positive thoughts, active day, so things to keep you active, notes, and then the universal wellness elements. And then over here, you have some reflection about the day and your meal plan. So I think this is just really straightforward and it's laid out really well if this is what you are looking for. So it is just, it goes on and on until you reach day seven and then you get, let me find one, there we go. Then you have a weekly review page. So you've got day and date, successes and wins, needs improvement, insights and lessons. I really like that one. Habit tracker and then um, just some like, check-ins here and some notes and then it goes straight into the next week i do like that there are markers so you can keep your spot since the months and the weeks are separate from each other you could also add some tabs to this if you're into tabs for marking your months in here but it's just really straightforward and just really laid out the pages the paper itself is like kind of a uh, it's not, it's an off-white for sure. It's not a bright white and it's pretty thin, but that's because there's so many pages in here for six months of daily pages. That's a lot. So the paper is thinner, but it is smooth and it's just kind of an off-white. You also have a little pin holder over here and you have the elastic that comes around the back. So I just think this is a really good option if you are looking for a wellness planner or just something to kind of keep you on track with your health goals, this would be great as well. So um, I really just like their kind of philosophy and how they've laid out this planner and I like it. So if you have any questions about this planner and how I would use it, definitely leave those down below. I'd be happy to answer. It also came with a sheet of stickers. So you have some flags up here, some coffee cups to do done milestone goal and big day there. So those go with the planner right there. And that is it for that little life and apples planner. Again, I think it's a good option for wellness planning. They did have some other colors too, if you were interested in a different color. All right, next I have two albums from Sadie stickers. These are so pretty. Now I got these specifically for my Once More With Love stickers and my Coffee Monsters Co. stickers because they have outgrown the albums that I'm currently using for them and I'm having to like double up and triple up in the pockets and I, I can't do that anymore because I'm like not finding what I want. So I got these two um, four by six little albums. I think they're so beautiful. Um, she did come out with planners just recently. I have a prototype, but it's not like a finished planner. So I don't want to show that, but she did say she was going to send us a finished planner and I'm going to choose this cover because I think it's so pretty, so beautiful. And then, oh, there's my little freebie right there. And then this one, you can move that down. This one I just thought was really cool too. And this is like a runner up planner cover. And I got it in gold. It just has a bunch of faces on it. And I thought it was cool. So these are going to be my character stickers for those two shops. Because they just have so much more room in them. And I'm going to be able to find everything a lot faster. And then um, let's do this one. Okay, so EC was having like a warehouse um, sale. And I don't usually do those. But I saw this and I had to have this. And it was like $9 or something. And the reason that I got it was because look at the pages. It's so freaking cute. I love the leopard on here. 
it's just adorable and it was just so affordable that I had to grab this. This is so cute. I'm obsessed with leopard stuff. I have been for a while and I just think this is so fun and I'm like, I use these all the time for lists or for practicing my handwriting or whatever it is. So I just picked this up. I wanted to show it to you real fast. It's pretty simple, but it is just super adorable. And then the other thing before we get into the other kits, I, I had to like separate this one because I've already kind of dug into it. I needed this kit for um, a spread that I did for um, St. Patrick's Day. So I'll show you the kit, but it's it's been like cannibalized. So here is my current freebie. I'm sure we're going to work on our spring freebies soon. Here is the rainbow freebie. So this was an order of rainbow coffee cups, which these are some of my favorites because they just go with a lot of stuff. I mean, you've got like a whole rainbow of colors here, especially with spring and summer coming up. And then here is the little rainbow freebie. Okay, so I got this three page kit. <laughs> and then I got it like after I had already started the other spread, but then I needed some things for that spread. So the full boxes are still here. This is mainly the page that I like stole from. I stole some deco. I stole some icons, but you have seen, if you've been watching me for a while, you've seen this kit before. I've used it so many times. So um, I also took from these two little boxes pages, but I bought this thinking I would use it in my planning roses planner and I just it didn't get here like in time for me to use it when I had the other kit so anyway this is the St. Patrick's Day kit and it's incomplete but I wanted to show it to you before I got into the other kits so there's that I'm gonna put this away for next year because I think I could use the rest of it in a spread okay so now we're gonna switch to the other pile of kits that I have and it's just all kits. So I wanted to kind of keep those separate and I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way and let's move to the next segment. Let's start with some Scribble Prints Co. over here. So I had an order from SVC in a while. I mean, I had ordered one kit, but it's just been hit or miss for me lately, but her hits are just really good. So let me show you what's in here. So there was just a little card in there and then just some little freebies here, some little emoji or emoji faces, some flag overlays, and then just some little SPC stuff. Okay. Um, I ordered two of multicolor sheets from the, I think it's summer or the brights. I can't remember how she um, labels these on her site. But these I thought would be really handy for spring and summer and I just kind of needed to add a little bit more to my order to use my coupon and so I added those and I thought that was practical. This kit is so cute. It's called Foodie. This is Kitness Jess Art. I love her art so much. There's the little freebie there. And this kit is so fun. I'm going to use it actually next week. So you'll see the plan with me for this before you actually see um, this video that you're watching right now. But I just thought this was super fun with all of the bright colors and all of the food. I love all of this. Oh, yum. Now I am going to be using this in my new Planning Roses planner. And it's a lot smaller than what I would normally need in like an A5 wide or EC size. So I will have leftovers of this and I haven't really decided, like I didn't order anything extra with this, mainly because her glitter headers come, which I haven't really been using glitter headers that often lately, um, but everything pretty much like comes in it and I don't really need anything extra, which is amazing. So I think this kit format, her mini kit is gonna be really helpful for that planner, but I am gonna have to like nix some of the um, full boxes, which I hate but I'm gonna have to use some of that deco, that's so cute. So that is the foodie kit from Scribble Prince Co. It's so cute. Okay, and then we have Once More With Love. Things are still um, slow because of the snowpocalypse, but I was glad when this showed up because I have been wanting these so badly. So here's a little card from Marg. 
and this is what I got. So here is the little fr February freebie, which is super cute. Oh, I love the little David. <laughs> and then here's what I got. So I got two of the little mini sheets of the occupation. So I got the hairstylist ones for when I go and get my hair cut or on wash days when I actually do my hair. And then I've got the nurse ones. I think these are super versatile for doctor's appointments. What I've, I've got a lot of those lately. So I needed another one of those little sheets. And then I've also got some full sheets here. So we've got Payday 2.0. I wanted to use these for like budgeting and things like that. And for Payday, of course. Really cute. And then here is Couch Potato. I'm watching a lot more TV than I used to. <laughs> And then this is a repurchase, the computer conference call one. I use these for anything with Google Meets or Zoom. And then snow cones. I don't know why I bought this one, but I anticipate the snow cone stand um, opening later in the spring. And I'll have these ready to go. I just think they're really cute. Here's hugging or anxiety 2.0 hugging pillows, which is cute. I always like the anxiety ones. Here is procrastination, which I'm not big on procrastination, but when I do it, I get in like a deep hole <laughs> and then I have to dig myself out. Oh, these are so cute. I burn for you. These are the Bridgerton ones. These are so cute. I've already watched the series like three times, I think, and I'm on the last book currently and I'll probably have it finished within the week. And I mean, they're just fluff and fun and I just thought those were so cute. And then here is the best wishes, warmest regards. So these are the Schitt's Creek um, little munchkins. So cute. And then these are just like straightforward car ones. I never have car stickers when I need them. So this is nice to have. Just I could use these for anything. Taking my car in to get worked on or oil change, trips, anything like that. So I love my little munchkins. Okay. Next up is Lemon and Honey Studio. And this kit is so pretty. It just kind of screamed spring to me and I just thought it was so pretty. And she wrote me a really, really sweet note. That's so nice. Thank you, Pam. Okay, so we've got, um, oh, I also ordered some Moxie Life stickers. Okay. So here is the February 2021 um, little sampler sheet that comes in your order. These are the Guardi Pardon, <laughs> Guardi, Garden Party icons that go with this kit. Here is page one of the kit. This is just so pretty. I thought this was fun with the black too. Oh, these full boxes are so gorgeous. I just really. I'm drawn to these. So this is, I don't know if I want to use this in my memory planner or in my everyday planner, but this is gorgeous. Just super bold and fun. And that's kind of just what I've been drawn to when it comes to spring kits. So that's the garden party kit. And then I also got the Moxie Areas of Life stickers. These are a little bit smaller than the Hand Can Play In ones, and I just wanted to try them out. So I got several sheets of them, and I just wanna see um, if I like them and how I like them. So, um, and just have another option. So I like these a lot. I'm excited to use these. Okay, so next is Jessica Hearts, and I have a really beautiful kit called, um, what is it cozy weekend or something like that yeah cozy weekend so here is the card and then here is the kit and i did add on a little yoga sheet since i'm doing a little bit more yoga now um hands-free but um yeah i just added these on to my order because they're just kind of simple and straightforward. Here is the little freebie that came with the kit. And then here is the four page mini kit. So I'm all about the mini kits these days. And this is gonna be perfect in my little Planning Roses planner. This is so cute. I just really like the artwork. And just like with the last kit I showed you, the little fun, Artistic rainbows are just really 
cute to me right now. So I just thought this was a fun spring kit and just kind of different from the bolder ones that I'm drawn to. So that is Jessica Hearts. And then this order from Sticker Party got lost. I don't even know how many times because of the snow. And it came from Canada. So that was another layer. Okay, I don't know why. I don't know what this is for. I wish I knew, but I just, I don't know what this is for. But... Maybe I can figure that out. Okay, so this is my first order from the sticker party. And I, I think there was a sale, maybe. And I saw these stickers on her um, Instagram feed. And I wanted these. So I just found some other things that I wanted as well. So here are some... Um, they're like... What is it? Horoscope? No. Whatever it is, like the, you know, never mind. Okay, Sticker Party um, has really cute hand-drawn stickers. They're just adorable. And so this is the one that I was really after. And I did get my first dose recently. And so I was really wanting these stickers. And then also the COVID test ones will also come in handy because I did have um, some. And I want to use this in my memory planner. Those are just so so cute and then I thought these were fun the currently reading with a space to write your book that you're reading and then the little books here with the little stars so you can like review them I thought this would be cute in my memory planner and then the cute little macbooks which I do I've had a, a new macbook for I don't know three months maybe and or two months and I just have found the need to have some of these for just like working, editing, doing whatever. And they're just like small and compact and they're cute. Okay, these are the birth control pills. So I just have to be sure to remember to pick up my prescription because I forget sometimes. So I thought those would be helpful. And then the Mexican food ones. I never have enough Mexican food stickers. And these are awesome. Look at the chips and guacamole. Oh, the little quesadillas and the burritos. I just, I love this sheet so much. And then I have no idea why I bought these. I think I just wanted ice cream, but they're really cute. And they could be cute for marking like a chill weekend, pun intended. Um, but these are just so adorable. And I'm glad to have some sticker party stickers, finally. Okay, next is Planning Roses. So she put out these stickers that go with her planner. And I just really wanted these. And then I just found this kit that is absolutely gorgeous. So let me grab these. Okay, so first there's this card from Jenna. And then um, here's what I got. So these are the month stickers that prompted this order. These go in the top left corner of the planner spread. And it just looks so pretty. And the font matches the font that's on the page. And I just think that's really beautiful and these are just so pretty so you have enough for every month and they're just beautiful and I'm obsessed with this font it's just so pretty and then these I'm not really sure why I bought these I don't know what my intention was <laughs> I just don't know but I want to see if I can find a use for them because they're so pretty I didn't know they would be so big um I don't know why I didn't think that but they're beautiful. So I might try to maybe use them in my Moxie Life or something. I don't know. But I do want to use them. Because, oh, maybe I can save these for my, like my teacher planner for next year or something. I don't know. But they're gorge. Okay. Then this is the kit that I got. And I'm experimenting with like B6 size kits. So this was like a mini weekly kit. And it was like these two pages. Which I can't, I can like cut down this washi and use it and stuff, but I can't really use this one. I might find a use for it, but um, this would be just so perfect. Like the sizing and everything for my little new planner. And I just love the colors and the artwork in this and like the geometric shapes. It's so beautiful. So I'm excited to use this um, probably sometime in March. And it's just really pretty. So I added on like these last two pages I think or maybe yeah I think I think I added on this page and this one just so I would have some extra boxes but like these little tiny ones I love that 
these are just going to fit so perfectly in that planner. I love that the planner has like a standard width, so you can use like regular kits in there, but you also have the option to use B6 kits, which is super fun. Okay, so that's all from Planning Roses. Um, I love this so much and I love my new planner. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, last thing for this section of the haul is Sadie's stickers. And I have a couple of the little B6 kits I was talking about. Her size, by the way, and kit format is great. Um, it's just perfect. So this is called Floor and I was just really drawn to the artwork in this. It's so soft and pretty. And this little quote here just looks beautiful. And these fit perfectly in the Planning Roses planner. It's so pretty. So this format is perfection. You get a full set of um, date headers if you need them. You have some checklists, you have lots of boxes, and then the um, full boxes are shorter, which is nice because I don't have to cut them down. And then you can also add on this sheet where you have like some bow headers, some date covers, and then some really beautiful like little layering things. So pretty. And then I also ordered the Saturday kit, which is really beautiful. And here's my little freebie. This is my new freebie. You can use Taylor 20. It's so cute. Really like versatile, I'm finding, because I'm using it all the time. I have like half empty ones all over the place. So this one is called Saturday. And I just really liked this one. I thought it was really cute. A little gold foil kitty over there. And the like hanging um, plant, it's just really beautiful. And then here is the other page. The colors are so muted and pretty. And then here is the little add-on sheet. It's kind of a matte gold in this kit. And then this one she sent over to me, so I will show it to you as well. So this is called Sakura. I think this was like a redesigned kit. Like she already had made this one and then she just kind of um, updated it. It has rose gold. It's really pretty. Um, it's not really my style, so I think I'm going to gift this to someone. But it is really beautiful. And then here is the little add-on sheet. These are super um, like budget friendly, I have found, with my um, new little planer really pretty. Okay, so that is everything for this section of the haul, and I will be back in a sec to show you some more. So this is going to be the last section of the haul, and I just have a couple of things to show you here, and I'm really excited about all of these. They're just so pretty. So let's start with Caress Press here. I have the March Mystery, the Chillin' and Grillin' kit. So I don't subscribe to her mystery kit, but she has overstocks that come to her shop regularly and they're always available that I've seen. So I just think that's really cool. I love that she brings those like to her shop because then you can really like pick and choose which ones you want to buy instead of like, I'm not good with surprises. So it's just really nice to have that option to get her mystery kits because they're always really beautiful. Okay, so this kit is so cute. I think this would be really fun for like the first week of summer and just kind of like an intro into summer. It's just really cute. So we've got like a little outdoor scene here. It looks like it's in like maybe the desert or something. And it's just so cute. And I really like the colors in this kit. It's neutral, which is always something that I am drawn to. And the patterns are really cool too. You've got like a, a mix of a plaid with like this more abstract pattern. I think it's really cute. I love this geometric pattern. Got an extra full box there. And then the deco is so cute. I really like her new format too. It's really good. So I just love this kit. I think it's so cute. And I'm excited to have that. Okay, next is Scribble Prints Co. So I got a couple of extras here with a kit. So here is a little freebie here in hollow. I love hollow. I never use it, but it's so pretty. And then there's another little freebie there. Okay, so I got two functional sheets. I got these like, I can't remember if they were, these were like spring or summer or spring and summer. But I've been kind of trying to fill up my functional 
um, section just so I have things that I can pull when I need them. So this is nice to have. And then I've got this kit called Celebrate. This is an old kit, but I was looking for like a birthday kit. And this one I thought was kind of fun. I don't know if this is going to be that one that I end up using. I just don't know. This, um, this year's weird and... You know, I'm not crazy about my birthday, but I do like to do like a birthday week. But I just thought this one was pretty and the colors are very pretty. Like my birthday's in May, so these are very like May colors to me. So here are the full boxes here. This is the mini kit, by the way. There's the deco, which is super cute. And then this page. I do enjoy her... Um, reformat except for I don't find that I have enough of like certain things but I have plenty of stuff I can pull from this is so pretty I love the little outline of the gold and then the bottom washi and the extra full box there this is pretty and it's a good option um it also came with these extra boxes here I don't know which way they go this way maybe I don't know but anyway, there's an extra couple of boxes. So I just thought this was fun and it will have enough points with the SPC that I can like basically buy kits for free right now. So I bought this as like an option or a backup or something. So that is the Celebrate kit. And then we have Hand Can Plan. So she was having a big release and I decided to try her kits because I've always wanted to and it just seemed like a really good time. So here is her freebie. That's so pretty. I really like those little florals. Okay, so I got three kits plus this sheet. So what I've been doing in my Planning Roses planner is in my sidebar, I put a top three. And those are the things that I want to prioritize and definitely get done that week. And so I got her little top three stickers. I thought those were really cute. And then these are the kits that I got. And I think that her kit format is going to work really well for me. So this one is called Elegant Neutrals. So I got the main kit plus the boxes and the deco and scripts. So these three pages. And I just think these are so cute. So we've got this page here with the washi strips, which is perfect for me. Like these two will work perfectly for me where I could cut down this one. In I can really do whatever I want with this. And then you've got the date covers, which are individual, I believe. Yeah. Oops. Put that back. <laughs> and then she includes numbers, which I think is really cool. I always love when shops do that. And then here are the boxes here. And then this page here has, whoops, I picked that up. Um, this page has a bunch of scripts and just fun little things. I like this little checklist here. Those are cute. I just love her handwriting. It's so fun. So I think I can totally make this work because it has enough elements for my little planner. I think it's going to be perfect. So that's the first kit. This is Elegant Neutrals. And then I also got the Rainbow Bright. I thought this was so fun. So same format as the other one. So cute. I'm going to be using this one very soon. Just adorable. And then this one here is like the one that I was really after. I think it's so cute. It's called Wild and Free. And I just been really having a moment with like leopard. And I just love this one so much. The colors are so fun. I think this might be fun in like July or August. So cute. I don't know if I can wait to use it that long, but it's just adorable. So that is everything from Han Can Plan. And then the last shop I have to show you is Sadie Stickers. So I bought the May 2021 kit for the A5 um, for my memory planner. And then she sent me the matching weekly kit, which is so beautiful. So I'll show you that one in just a second. Okay, so here is her um, newly reformatted monthly kit. It is so gorgeous. <sighs> it's so pretty. So I haven't used this in my Let's Planner Action Memory Planner yet, but I think that I can make it work totally because what's really helpful is you have these 
um, like the weekly stickers and stuff, you can put them wherever you want on here. You're not tied to like placement when it comes to these big stickers. I just think that's a really, really great option. Also, if you want to do like a Monday start on your monthly, you can also do that with this kit. Okay, so these two go across the top and then these, I believe, go across the bottom or like the days that are not in the month. And then this page has some of the little um, full boxes and then you have a bunch of like full boxes, little um, just half maybe. I don't know. Anyway, these are so beautiful. So cute. A little bit of deco here. And the numbers are so pretty. This is like the layering page. Oh, it's so pretty. We actually got to like contribute to like what she was going to put in here. And I think it came out so well. Okay, then I have the sidebar sticker, which is so pretty. I love all the florals. Um, here's my current freebie. And then this is the page that has like all the holidays, icons, and the number or the days of the week and just other kind of script stickers. So cute. Really love that. Okay, so then it had like a matching weekly kit and she was so kind to send this to me. This is the A5 wide um format. I, yes, this is the reformat as well. So here's the new weekly format with Sadie stickers. So we have the full boxes here and then you have some labels at the bottom. And then look at these icons. Are they not the cutest? So cute and just have a like little dots of foiling on them. I love this style. I think that's so cute and matches like the style of the kit. And then you also have some new little scallops here and some new squares. I love the changes to this kit. Okay, then you have a more extended layering section. And then you still have your um, headers. And then you've got, yeah, three sets of headers. You've got your checklists, habit trackers. And then this page is pretty much the same except for the new scallops over here. That bottom washi is so pretty. This is just gorgeous. I might have to work this in somewhere, but it's just so pretty. I wasn't planning to use it, but now that I have it, it's just so pretty. So that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you got to see kind of what I'm going to be using in the next few months. All shops and coupon codes that I have are going to be listed down in the description if you want to check any of them out. If you have any questions about the shops themselves or any of the things that I bought, paper quality, all that stuff, let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. Also, if you have any recommendations for me of specific kits or shops I should check out, leave those for me as well because I always need to step out of my little planner shop bubble. It's, it's a comfort because I love all of the shops that I share, but I do need to try some new things every once in a while. <laughs> um, I think that's everything. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye!